My name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 145 and 146. Problem number 145, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says that the width of a rectangle, we have a rectangle and we are told that the width of the rectangle is three quarters of its length. They go on to tell us that if we were to increase the width by three feet, if the width is increased by three feet and the length is decreased by three feet, the rectangle that we started out with turns into a square. The question simply is, what are the original dimensions? Let's do it together, shall we? We have two sentences here. The width of the rectangle is three quarters of the length. That's our first sentence from which we'll get the first equation. Then we'll have a second sentence from which we'll get the second equation. And we'll have the two independent equations and we have two unknown, the length and the width. And that's all there is. So the width of the rectangle, width, let's call it W. The width is, which means equal, three quarters of the length. Three quarters of the length. Whatever the length is, if you take the three quarters of the measurement, that's your width. That's our first equation. They go on to tell us that if we take the width, if we take the width and you increase it by three feet, we increase it by three feet. So here's our width, original width, you increase it by three feet, and then you take the length and you decrease it by three feet, what happens? The rectangle turns into a square. If the rectangle turns into a square, in square all four sides are equal, and therefore the distinction of the length and the width ceases to exist. In other words, this so-called length after it has been increased by 3 feet and the so-called length after it has been decreased by 3 feet they are equal to each other there is no such thing as length and width and the square because it becomes a square it becomes a square we know what width is, width is 3 quarter of the length let's put it in here width is 3 quarter of the length, put it in here 3 quarter of the length plus 3 equals L minus 3 let's subtract 3 quarter of the length from both sides so this is positive here, let's subtract it from here, 3 quarter of the length, and let's subtract 3 quarter of the length from here, and let's bring this 3 to this side by adding 3 to both sides, and there you have it. Positive 3 quarter length and a negative 3 quarter of the length will cancel out, 3 plus 3 is 6, and we have a length here, 1 length minus 3 quarter, 1 minus 3 quarter is a quarter. So the quarter of the length equals 6, because this 3 is going to cancel out. If quarter of the length equals 6, that implies, that implies that length must be 6 times 4, or 24. And from there, once we have the length, once we have the length, we can figure out the W. W is simply, W is simply 3 quarter of the length, which we just found out is 24. 6 divide top and bottom by 4, and we'll have 6 times 3, which is 18. That's all there is. The original dimension of the rectangle must have been 18 by 24. The last thing we need to do at this point, as always, as always, is to make sure that we verify our, our work, make sure that, that, that we do the verification of the answer. It only takes a few seconds. It's worth spending that extra few seconds to buy the insurance. So let's do that. So what we are claiming, what we are claiming is that the length and the width are, the length times the width are 24 times 18. 24 times 18. It, it says that if you were to decrease, if you were to decrease the length by 3 feet, if you decrease it by 3 feet, it becomes 21. If you increase the length width by 3 feet, it becomes 21. You see? 21 times 21, it is, it is, it does in fact become square. So this dimensions must be correct, 18 by 24. Because when you increase the width by 3 feet and decrease the length by 3 feet, it becomes 21 by 21, hence it becomes a square. You want to do one more? Let's do one more. 146. There was not... There was not much in here in terms of verification. Let's do one more. 146. We are told that the length of a rectangle, length of a rectangle is two and a half times its width. That, that's going to give us our first equation. 
Then they're going to tell us that if if the length is increased by three meters and width is decreased by a meter the area of the rectangle remains unaltered the area remains un unaltered what are the original dimensions so let's find out shall we so first equation is very straightforward first equation we are told that the length of this rectangle is two and a half times the width so the length L is two and a half times the width that's pretty straightforward simple nothing to it we're just going to leave it like this we're going to get to it when we need it let's move on to the second sentence we are told that if you were to increase the length, if you take the length and you increase it by 3 meters, so you have our length, and if we increase it by 3 meters, and what do we do with the width? We take our width and increase it, uh, rather decrease it, decrease it, not increase, decrease it by a meter. What happens when, the, when, when we do that? We are told that if you were to increase the length, if the length is increased by 3 meters, and if the width is decreased by a meter, what happens? We are told if the area of the rectangle remains unaltered, area of the re rectangle remains remains unaltered. What about the original area of the rectangle was? That quantity doesn't change. So the area of this new rectangle, after we have increased the length by three meters and decreased the width by three meters, the area of this new rectangle, which is just going to be length times the width, the new length times the new width, has to equal the area of the original rectangle because the area remains unaltered and the area of the original rectangle is just length times width that's all there is that's our second equation let's work on it open the parenthesis length times width l times negative 1 is going to give us negative l 3 times w is going to give us 3w and positive 3 times negative 1 is going to give you negative 3 and here we get l times w it just comes down the first thing we notice is that L times W, this product of length and the width, appears in both, in both, on both sides of the equation with the same sign. So if you were to subtract length times W from both sides, it's going to drop out. So that was, a, that was the easy part. Let's move on then. So here we have negative L plus 3 times W. Well, actually, we don't have the, we have the L here as 2 and a half times W. So we, I should have substituted it for L, not the W. Let's do that again. So negative L, L we know is two and a half times W. So it becomes negative two and a half times W plus three W. Let's, let's add three to both sides so we can bring the three on that side equals three. Well, negative two and a half and a positive three, negative two and a half and a positive three is just a half. So half of the w, half of w equals 3, which in turn implies that w must be 6. The length must, or rather, w must be 6. The width is 6. If the width is 6, how much is the length? The length is right here. Length is simply 2.5 times w. w we know is 6, so it's just 6 times 2.5. 6 times 2.5. 6 times 2 is 12. And half of 6. 6 times 2 is 12, and half of 6, 6 times half is 3. So the length must be 15. That's it. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. But as always, we're going to take 2 seconds to confirm our answer, to verify our answer. So let's do that. Let's do that. So what we are claiming is that, let's do the verification right here. What we are claiming is that the original dimensions were 6 by 15. 6 by 15. That's what we're claiming, and it, if it and if our answer is correct, then it should agree with what is told what is told to us in the rest of the problem, which is that if you were to increase the length by three meters, so length is 15. 
if you were to increase it by 3 meters, it becomes 18. This is a new length. And if you were to decrease the width by a meter, width we are claiming is 6. So if you were to decrease it by a meter, it becomes 5. And the problem tells us if you do that, the area remains unaltered. If these two quantities are equal to each other, then our, our work is correct. Let's see what we can find out here. Oh, I see a 6 here and I see a 18 here. Let's divide both sides of the equation by 3. If you divide both sides of the equation by, not 3 rather, let's divide both sides of the equation by 6. If you do that, 6 is going to drop out and 18 is going to become 3. There you go. 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Our work is in fact correct. Our work is in fact correct. Bye now.